she suggested that the reverse could be true for people with autism. Okay, I've got a new theory and this is an exciting one. So as a child, I was labeled as slow. And I say this because I've come to learn that that isn't true necessarily, but with the evidence that they had, the school, at the time, they had every reason to believe that I was developing a lot slower than my peers. And I couldn't track it. I could not track why everyone was picking up on this information and I was really struggling with it. And what I've come to learn is quite normal for people who are autistic. And what I mean by normal is not that everybody's presentation will look like that, but that their window of neuroplasticity is different. So that's what I'm going on to. So I have um, a stepsister who's a neuroscientist and she actually coined this theory at me one time when we were speaking about autism. And she said that she believes like neurotypically a lot of our information is documented on how the window of neuroplasticity between the zero to five years is the typical brain. So a neurotypical brain where children have like a high degree of flexibility, they can learn a lot and then it slows down over time. She suggested that the reverse could be true for people with autism. And I have done some research on this and Again, I'm assuming that this is relatively new research. So again, please go away and form your own opinions, make your own decisions. But there is lots of claims that either the neuroplasticity just functions differently. So that might be the window of neuroplasticity doesn't open at all, or it opens at a different degree and it stays open longer. 